Let us be clear. This is unsafe. The manufacturers have said so, our airlines are saying so, the FAA is saying so, and so are pilot unions. Unless changes are made, the airline CEOs say we will see a slew of cancellations starting tomorrow. And we're not just talking about passenger flights, but also cargo flights, including those carrying vaccines. The major airlines warning of a possible catastrophic aviation crisis beginning in less than 24 hours when AT&T and Verizon are set to launch new, stronger 5G technology, which would give faster wireless service. The concern, whether 5G signals could interfere with radio altimeters. That's a device pilots use telling them how far they are from the ground and helping them land in poor visibility. So experts worry the devices might fail because of potential confusion of the 5G signals. Executives from airlines including American, Delta, United and Southwest urging U.S. officials to keep new, stronger 5G signals at least two miles away from U.S. airports, saying in a letter, immediate intervention is needed to avoid significant operational disruption. To be blunt, the nation's commerce will grind to a halt. The CEO's adding that certain larger planes can't be used and could potentially strand tens of thousands of Americans overseas. One union saying its pilots are prepared to ground their planes if the FAA doesn't act. We're not going to fly the airplane unless it's safe. We're going to yell from the uh, rooftops that we need to stop this. Take pause. We can get this done. Other countries have successfully launched similar 5G signals, but the FAA says the 5G in America will be twice as powerful. The FAA saying overnight it continues to work with the aviation industry and wireless companies to try to limit 5G-related flight delays and cancellations. Right now, COVID cases in Los Angeles County are up 10 times from just a month ago, and health officials here warn that the unvaccinated are 22 times more likely to die from COVID compared to those who are fully vaccinated. So hospitals just like this one are now prepared for the number of COVID deaths to continue to rise. In the hard hit Northeast, where Omicron first started to surge, the first hopeful signs of a slowdown. Five states, plus D.C. and Puerto Rico, reporting at least a 10 percent decrease in new cases. New York State has seen a 12 percent drop in new cases the last six days, while hospital admissions have gone down more than 5 percent. But health officials warn we're not out of the woods, saying the latest COVID surge has yet to peak across much of the country. 99 percent of counties in the U.S. are reporting high transmission. One of those counties now reeling, Los Angeles, over the past week, reporting a 10-month high of an average of 40 COVID deaths a day. At a virtual event for the World Economic Forum, Dr. Anthony Fauci says that we'll never be able to completely eliminate COVID. But hopefully it will be at such a low level that it doesn't disrupt our normal social, economic and other interactions with each other. To me, that's what the new normal is.